Right, so people always ask me, how do you still have energy after a long day at work? How do you get things done even when you're exhausted? And how do you study even when you don't feel like it? And in this video, we're gonna go over my five tips on how to study even when you're dead tired. So let's get into it. Now the first one is to take a cold shower. Now I know this might sound crazy, but one of the main benefits of taking a cold shower when you're tired and you still have things to finish on your to-do list, like read the last chapter in your text, textbook or answer a few more practice questions is that doing this will immediately help you to feel more awake and more alert because the jolt of taking cold showers will give you that extra boost of energy to wake you up so you can find it in yourself to finish what you need to get done for the day. The second one is to avoid eating a high carb meal. Now examples of this may include eating rice, chocolates, or drinking sugary drinks like a whole can of coke. And the reason for avoiding eating a high carb meal is what some people call postprandial somnolence or food coma, which is basically a phenomenon of feeling sleepy and lack of motivation that people experience after eating a large meal. It's why after eating a big plate of pasta, you end up taking a long nap on the couch, leading to a very unproductive afternoon. Now, I'm not saying to never eat carbs at all. All I'm saying is to practice moderation and to watch how much portion of your meal is made up of simple carbohydrates like a lot of sugar. So that instead of taking a nap for four hours straight, is you'll end up with more energy to be more productive in the afternoon. Which leads us to tip number three, and that is to take 15 to 20 minute naps only. And it's important to not exceed this limit because if you do, say you overslept for around 40 minutes to an hour, you may enter what's called deep sleep, which upon waking up from it can lead to feelings of grogginess or what people call sleep inertia. So you will still feel tired after that long nap. But if you take power naps instead, which is just around 15 to 20 minutes, you will wake up with more focus and alertness and it will definitely give you more energy to make you more productive. Now tip number for is the study in co-working spaces or coffee shops. Now this might sound a bit controversial and some students might disagree with it, but for me personally, I also wouldn't want the distractions of people walking by, espresso machines whirring, and the occasional loud music in the background. But the point is the distractions themselves may actually be useful if you're already dead tired and exhausted from a long day and you still have deadlines to meet and stuff to finish. Because if you're working alone in your room, it's way easier to just crawl into your comfortable chair or your cozy couch to sleep and forget about your deadlines. But when you're studying or working in coffee shops surrounded by other people who are also studying or working, it will motivate you to do the same. And finally, one of the things I just discovered recently, which helped me find my second wave of energy to just push through and finish what I had to finish studying is alternating sitting with standing. Now, there are a lot of times when I feel like I'm running out of steam to continue studying, but when I try to stand up from long hours of sitting, I felt more energized and ready to tackle my tasks again. I actually bought myself a standing desk to see for myself if it really does the magic. And after a few days of using it, I think I've gotten a lot more things done with a standing desk instead of just sitting on my office chair for hours on end. If you like this video and you would like to know more tips about studying, check out this playlist over here, which has all of the tips I have for studying in med school. Now, thank you so much for watching and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Bye.